Welcome to another edition of the Bridges Bulletin. Let's get started. This is Diane Bridges. Today I want to talk about responsibility within relationships and how important it is. In fact, it's critical. Whenever a problem or conflict arises in a relationship, you want to make sure that you take a look at what you've said or done to contribute to that. Now, I know this sounds obvious, and as adults, we've all been taught to take responsibility for ourselves. But in intimate relationships, it gets more difficult. Our hearts are involved, our emotions are stronger which is why being extra careful about taking responsibility for your part in any conflict in an intimate relationship is so important. It's really the only time when certain parts of ourselves are going to be exposed, either to somebody else or to ourselves. Things that you wouldn't have thought would bother you in a friendship or co-working relationship suddenly are now an issue with the person that you're intimately involved with. And this is something to keep in mind when something is said or done by your intimate partner that quote unquote triggers you. I don't always like that word triggers, but it does get the job done in the sense that it describes how we feel. We get immediately flared up with either anger, irritation, some sort of strong emotion by what our intimate partner has just said or done. Which is why it's so important to just sit with that feeling for a moment and push it down and not let it come up as a reaction and just sort of let it settle there for a few moments before you respond. And sometimes women need to work extra hard at this because we are much more emotional than men are in general. And so women are constantly having to adjust internally with how they feel about things. Men, on the other hand, have more of a natural distance with their emotions. So for men, taking responsibility sometimes looks like a logical decision. For example, if you do something that you know your wife or girlfriend doesn't like, it may not be a big deal to you, but it is to her. And so you can make a conscious decision not to do that thing for her, even though you think it's not a big deal. Or you can take another avenue of responsibility and discuss it with her saying, I really want to do this thing. I don't understand why it's a big deal for you. Help me understand. And then if she explains it to you and you still don't understand, it's probably best to be honest and say, I'm probably going to do this thing. So can we find a way for you to feel comfortable with me doing this thing? And honesty is important. And it's also important to understand that emotionally, a lot of times you're not going to be on the same page. And a lot of times that looks like women being more emotional than a man and a man not really caring about whatever it is that she's emotional about and not taking that personally. So ladies, it's not personal when he doesn't care as much about your feelings as you want him to. And gentlemen, it's not personal if she criticizes you or gets emotional with you. That's part of taking responsibility for your side in an intimate relationship, is not taking things personally. If you can do that, then you know you're really on your way to having a truly intimate relationship. The strange and wonderful thing about relationships is that they bring you back more deeply into yourself. To truly give of yourself, you have to know who you are, which means you have to be contained energetically and emotionally and know when to allow somebody else to just do and say what they're going to do and say and consciously choose to either engage with it or draw a boundary or just withdraw or whatever you feel is necessary at that point without taking it personally. So that's just a small segment on taking responsibility in intimate relationships. This is a big, deep topic, but I hope that gives you some food for thought. And I thank you for listening and have a very sensual day.